All right, guys, you've seen it. Um, a lot of you have been messaging me wanting to know when we're going to do our honey harvest for 2020, and there you go. Uh, I just set the camera up and got it done. I don't know how long it took exactly, maybe 20 minutes or so. And these frames are all in here still, and they had a lot of bees on there. Um, if you guys watched the video, I took the little uh, brush and tried to brush all the bees off that I could. And uh, I've been needing to do this for a while now. Um, so I've been needing to harvest this honey for a while now. Uh, you guys know all the projects I've been trying to get wrapped up. It has been uh, hard to come up with the time to do this. Uh, this is something that once you uh, do it, you pretty much got to finish it. So <clears throat> I got my uh, honey extractor somewhere yeah, right here. I got to get it all cleaned off. And uh, we'll get start getting it loaded. It's going to be a late night for sure. I'll probably break this video into two parts because I know I probably already made it a long video just doing what I did. Even though I didn't say a word hardly. Um, so I ended up with almost 30 frames of medium frames of honey. And uh, that's awesome. Hopefully I don't get stung because I already took my gear off. And like I said, these bees are all over these still. They're just coming and going. I'm going to close the shop door here in a minute. And then uh, hopefully it'll be, uh, I'll let it be dark in here for a little bit. And then here in an hour or two, I'll open the door up. And usually a lot of them will see that light and they'll start to fly out. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start cleaning this honey extractor up. And uh, let them kind of settle down because they are still coming in and out the door actually. And what will happen, a lot of people, and you, and you can uh, go back and watch Keeping It Dutch's channel. A couple years ago he harvested some of his honey and he left some of it sitting outside and the bees actually came back and took it back it may have been another beehive or whatever but some bees came and took it and uh, actually stole the honey that he just harvested from his bees so if I don't close these shop doors other bees other kinds of wasp and other kinds of bees rather than honey bees will come and they'll actually steal or rob this honey and it you would be surprised how fast other bees and stuff like that can actually come and take this honey they send scouts out and they come and say hey here's a whole bunch of honey they go back to the hive say hey i found the the uh honey bucket i guess you can say whatever and they come they all come and they start stealing it and taking it back to their hives and feed their young and whatnot so um i know a lot of other youtube videos are doing the same type of videos right now and that's just the way it goes you know honey harvests usually happen all around the same time especially in the same areas uh, we're here in northeast oklahoma and uh we haven't had a lot of what they call a dearth and that's when the bees are having a hard time trying to forage for nectar and all that type of stuff um we've been pretty blessed with rain this year we went about five weeks back in june and maybe the end of may where we didn't have any rain for a while but we got a lot of clover a lot of fruit trees and stuff like that around here so most of this honey will probably be like clover and blackberry so uh we uh we've been blessed again to get this amount of honey last year we got bees landing on me last year i think we only got a little less than um two whole frames of honey i feel weird without my hat on you guys don't normally see me without my hat on there we go so let me get this camera set up So last year we got a little less than two whole frames or boxes of honey, which was like 15, I think, frames of honey. And this year we almost got 30, so we should almost double our yield. Uh, a lot of these look like they were really built out. And uh, I'm super excited to get them in the extractor, start filtering them out, and uh, getting them put in the jars this year. Hopefully we're going to be able to sell some to our subscribers, um, some of the local people we always sell to every year. But this year we should have enough where we can actually put them online and maybe sell some to some of you guys. Excuse me. Uh, it, it's Beekeeping is awesome, but it takes a lot of time and dedication. And to be honest, I don't spend enough time working with our bees like I should. There's so much more I could be doing. But when you got a big farm, you got pigs and goats and chickens, everything else, you know, it's just never ending work. But so far everything has been working out good we didn't lose any hives last winter hopefully this winter will be the same we won't lose any hives but 
you just never know. So it's just part of it, just like raising any other kind of animal. Things happen to them, they get parasites, the cold kills them. There's all kinds of stuff that can go wrong. So anyways, I'm gonna get it off of here. Hopefully you guys uh, like this video okay. It was just me pretty much setting up the camera and recording and getting it done. And uh, be looking forward to a harvest video. I will try to record a harvest video on all this. And it might be tonight, I don't know yet. But hopefully I need to get it, I need to get it done pretty quick. So anyways, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time.